Hey, I wanted to show you one more thing, and I'm sure you all know this well. Uh, I'm a little slow in the phone situation. Um, I uh, found this thing, and it's pretty darn easy. Once you take your picture of either one or two items, and you put it here into Edit, instead of doing the regular, I hit the markup with the three dots. There's three dots. Well, you know, I'm sure. And then this comes up which is really fun because you can draw and stuff on it. But what's cool is the ruler feature. And you can put the ruler on your photograph and drag it and check every angle to see if you got it really close to the edge. And you can slide it all the way over. This one's pretty good. Now, normally, I mean, obviously this is just for practice, but if I were photographing artwork that had an image with it as a source, I had this down on the ground where it's there's like a little dot there and a little dot there. We don't want that. Oh wait, we don't want that either. Um, but normally you want to put it on a plain neutral color, uh, uh, like really clean piece of cardboard or uh, not a towel because it has texture, but maybe a sheet that has no wrinkles. But you don't want to put it on some bright red thing. I mean, it, it's very dramatic. It makes your work look like it's matted or framed already. But for later, we'll do that kind of fun stuff. But you don't want to put it on a dramatic background, kind of a neutral for this stage. You know, a beige, kind of a cardboard color, and you know, something without texture. So that we can really see your warm-ups, and I can really gauge what's going on in them, especially with these projects with the grid. Because I can't even tell if your bottles are leaning, or your boxes are vertical, and... Um, some of you had to redo your grid for sure. If it's even a hair off, it's a problem. Okay, so you know, so you can slide it this way and then you can turn it, you know, and slide it this way. Whoops, you guys know better than I do. But anyway, that's a tool. And then, of course, when you first put it in there and you do um, the, the cropping and you go to edit and of course, see how many I did? I could, you do a gazillion, and a lot of them were bad. But on this one, when you go to edit, and you go to, um, oh geez, and you go to crop, because the markup is these little dots where you get all the pencils and the fun stuff like that. I love all that stuff. Plus, you can get, you can add shapes, so you can make a grid by yourself instead of using one there. If you hit the plus. It's hard to do this while I'm doing the other one at the same time. Okay, when you hit the plus, you can get that. And then you can use this to gauge. So these are all ways that you can double check your project. Sometimes a grid pops up. Sometimes people make a grid on their work. So anyway, just, just 